Hello everyone. What we're doing right now is I'm doing just a quick video to let you know I got a I went to an estate sale and I found this right here. Um, and it has grease on it because I've been testing it out some. But basically what it is is whenever I make my stock, instead of just straight canning it, or if you um, are planning on using it for cooking your stock or, or anything that generates grease in your broth or or, or anything, your bacon or um, with the bacon you just drain it out. But this basically just um, is supposed to put it in where there's the broth as well as where there's grease that generated from the chicken or beef or whatnot, whatever you're cooking. And you're supposed to just swirl it around like this. And what it's supposed to do is just pick up the grease. And can you see the grease on here? Is it? Are you able to see it? And then what I'm going to do is, already, I'm going to move it over here. This is what I've gotten so far from it. Because they have other little gadgets where you pour it into a cup. And it has like this little, like a little arm, a teapot. You want to bring it over here, Hanson? And then you can squeeze it out. Do you want to zoom it in? And it pushes it out. I don't have one of those. I just found this in a state cell. So I this is what I've been using. You can kind of see the grease. Another way you can be able to do it if you don't want to get a degreaser, you can just go ahead and um, put it in the refrigerator. And the grease will automatically be at the top, kind of like it is right now, but it'll freeze. It'll be easy just to scrape it off. But if you're in a rush, I'm in a rush, I need to hurry and get this done. See the grease here? I'm going to pour it out. And it came with a couple of them. I'm going to have a, a brand new one so you can see it in action. See? So this is a, well, it's not brand new, but it does. it hasn't been used. It's been washed and it's ready to go. So it's going to go from that to, and you'll see the grease on there. And it could take time. I think they're both kind of, the easiest way is just to put it inside of your refrigerator overnight. And then after it overnight, then you go ahead, and there it goes, and I'm going to drain it out. Follow me. And there's the grease coming out. The easiest way I find is just to put it inside of the refrigerator, let it cool off. It'll form a little gel of fat, and you can just scrape it off. But if you're in a hurry, you can use this, or if you have one of those cups where you just um, put it on there and it separate. It's a, I think it's a grease. It's called a grease separator cup, but it's just a grease separator. You can um, pour the broth into it and it separates. You give it a minute and it separates and then you pour it out. Okay, so this is just a quick thing. It, um, I don't think they make it anymore, but I was just doing a quick video just to be able to show what it does. And this is a Pampered Chef. Um, I'm not sure the name of it. I'll have the name of it whenever I look it up. But I saw it and I was very much so interested. But this is basically what it does. And again, on behalf of your loved ones, friends, and family who were not able to say thank you, thank you for all your hard work and for cooking such great food for your family.